everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another kind of capsule wardrobe staples video. Um, I did one a couple of months ago which was more winter focused and more kind of all round the year kind of thing. But I do know that people, especially me, I tend to switch up my wardrobe from winter to summer. So I thought I would do a summer kind of capsule wardrobe or summer staples that I've been wearing again and again and again. Um, I'm on spending man at the moment, so these are the things I've kind of been repeatedly wearing, styling up together, and I think they're all really super versatile and great for so many different occasions. So I thought I'd put it all together in a video and talk you through my most worn summer staples. So let's get going. So first things first, I'm talking all things shoes. There are two pairs that I've been wearing again and again, and the first pair are these trainers. Um, these are less of a staple, more of a statement, if anything, but between these and a pair of kind of plain white Converse, I've been wearing them so much. And these are the Adidas Gazelles with a really fun tropical print. I got these for my birthday, I think last year, it's by some of my friends who obviously know me very well. Um, these are just really cool at kind of dressing down. Dresses like this, for example, I mean, the pattern clash is a bit much, but um, wearing these paired with like jeans, shorts, even other dresses to kind of take them from being a bit twee and kind of a bit like ladylike, kind of a bit more cool, a bit more street, um, is really cool. But I absolutely love these trainers and they are something I've been wearing again and again and again. The other pair of shoes I've been wearing again and again are these ballet pumps. Um, not very exciting, they're probably like my most vanilla shoe, but I love them and they are amazing for everything. Um, hence why they look a bit grubby at the moment, they're definitely not in their best condition and they've been very well loved, but these are amazing. These are just from Topshop, I think, they're about £16, but I've worn them non-stop. I wear them for driving lessons, which there's been a lot of, so um, yeah, they're my safe driving shoe. Um, but I also wear them with jeans, with dresses like this, if I don't know what else to wear on my feet and I want something comfortable and fail safe. They also just look really cool with like, kick flares, quite chic and French, but yeah, absolutely love these and you can get them absolutely everywhere. Cheaper than £16, I'm sure, and you can probably invest in a pair. Slightly more expensive that you'll get so much wear of, so I definitely recommend both of those for capsule wardrobes. Now moving swiftly onto dresses, there are two dresses that I've been wearing kind of on repeat, or more styles of. Um, the first is this dress from Topshop Unique. I've definitely featured this in another video because it falls under many different things, like most worn, most loved, best value for money, but this kind of style of dress is perfect. Um, it's got really lovely long sleeves, little kind of floaty wrist details. It's also a really nice length. I've worn this on holiday, I've worn it around the park, I've worn it to a friend's wedding, and it's just completely, well, completely served me, or it's just served me so well. It's nice to have a nice print in your wardrobe, which is subtle enough for day-to-day -day wear, but not too statement that you kind of steer away from wearing it often, but I have worn this so much, and it's just great for everything. It's quite a thick skirt as well. ASOS did a copy of something similar really recently, which is so, so, like identical and really beautiful so I'll try and link that if it's still available because I've worn that so much so I'd probably buy another one if I could but definitely recommend that. The other kind of dress that I've been wearing is the midi. I have a few midi dresses because I think that just if you're not confident about getting your legs out or you're a bit worried I think this kind of dress is perfect. Um, this one is from New Look and it's got a really low V like neck. You could wear it, probably wear it like a little vest underneath if you felt a bit conscious about getting that much chest out. Um, it really reminded me of the kind of Reformation style midis with like a lot of chest, a lot of decolletage. Um, but I love this, it's button up through the middle so you can kind of choose how many buttons you have up, done or not. Um, but this is great, it's great with a leather jacket, it's great with a denim jacket, flip flops, espadrilles. It's really, it's a nice beachy dress but it's also nice if you're in the city or exploring or just doing day to day stuff really. So that is another favourite of mine. I'm now moving on to all things bottoms and kind of jumpsuits and things because there are three things that I've been wearing on repeat. So the first thing, oops, this pair of culottes. Um, I've been wearing culottes a lot this summer. I'm not the most confident shorts wearer. I don't like getting my legs out too much so I'm quite reserved in that department. So although I have a couple of pairs of shorts which are the Topshop mom shorts and the American Apparel high-waisted ones which are amazing if you're not confident with like hot pants or you kind of maybe have a smaller waist and slightly larger hips they're great for kind of that kind of proportion which I definitely fall under um they're really good if you're a bit more cautious of that kind of thing but I also love wearing things like this 
These are from Topshop last year, but there are a pair actually which are in the wash, which I've been wearing all summer from Dr. Denim. And they're just white culottes, but they go with everything. Um, I've always been a bit scared of white jeans because I'm just a bit like, ah, do my legs look okay in them? Will they get dirty? But these have kind of almost eased my worries a bit because they look great with kind of little tops, blouses tucked in, but they also look really great with knitwear. So they look really cool with like a black jumper or a navy one tucked in really nice with trainers and equally with kind of like little heels for evenings so they're a really good kind of day to night transitional piece um, and I think they flatter like a lot of body shapes as well because they're quite high waisted but they kind of come out at a bit of an A-line so they kind of really help balance things out especially if you want to kind of wear something more bodycon on top not that you should have to balance things out ever or kind of like go with proportions but I think they're just they're really super flattering and I love them so much so those I really love I also have been wearing these all the time, let's find them, which are these dungarees. I have waxed lyrical about these for so long. I did a whole video about how to style them, although that was a bit more winter based, but these are my ASOS dungarees from Monkey, or Monkey, depending on how you say it. These have been worn endlessly, um, to the point where I wear them just if I'm going for a meeting or whether I'm going out, it's just, they're perfect, you can wear them with little heels, they're little kick flares, they're slightly more kind of dressy than kind of straight leg dungarees I think, um, but I love them, they're a really 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 great fit and I'm often a bit like, I struggle with dungarees sometimes because I suppose the typical shape of them where you roll them up and they're a bit more boyfriendy doesn't always look great on me but these are slightly more fitted but really nicely like proportioned and yeah, really really love those so I really, I think they're just a great all rounder if you're kind of you want something a little bit more interesting than jeans, but still something that kind of you can throw on and not think about too much, they are your gal. Another thing that I've been turning to, mainly for evening occasions, but something I'm really, really glad I bought, is this jumpsuit from Reformation, which is all in a pickle. It is this one. It's a linen jumpsuit with a zip along the back and a tie waist. I got this and I was a bit like, how often am I going to wear this? But it has proved a complete save saviour, I was going to say saver, a complete saviour for evening occasions, I don't know what to wear, my friend Christopher has it and she's styled up amazingly with some different items on her blog, I think she wore the striped top which I was like, genius, like she looks amazing in it, but this is perfect for kind of, if you want something that you can wear during the day, just with sandals, or something you can wear with some heels for a really kind of chic evening look, like pull your hair back, pop some big earrings in and you are good to go with this, and it's because it's linen, the fabric makes it super summery, it makes it really light, so it's great for holidays too. It's from Reformation, which I know isn't always the most accessible brand because obviously they're across the pond. Obviously if you're a US based, this doesn't really apply, but it can be kind of tricky to get hold of, but I know there are so many similar ones. I've seen ones on whistles. Anything with a light kind of fabric works perfectly, so I'll try and find some similar ones below and link the original if I can, but a nice jumpsuit will just take you through summer, so I definitely, definitely love this one. <laughs> Moving on to jackets. This has been one of my favourites for the last couple of years. This is from Topshop and it's kind of like a mix between a trench and a kind of duster coat. Um, it's mid-length, really, really easy to wear, creases like a complete nightmare, but I love it enough that I'm willing to let that go. But basically, it's a really nice balance if you're, if you're not sure about something too structured, it's a really great in-between middle ground. I wear it with jeans, dresses, it's just a really good throw-on piece. If you're not feeling a leather jacket, I love wearing it because I think with typical trench coats, they can be quite formal, quite dressy, whereas this is just a really relaxed version of it, which I absolutely love. This is from Topshop maybe last year or the year before. I know they've done so many oh, so many similar things since, so I'm going to try and find some alternatives, but if you've got anything like that in your wardrobe, other pastel colours work really, really well. I saw someone with the navy one, which I absolutely loved, so that is a really, really great kind of day to night rain or shine piece, which I cannot get enough of. So yeah. Okay, so the last item that I think is a really good kind of piece that binds the rest of your wardrobe together is a nice kind of white blouse slash summer top. The one I have got in question is this little one from Topshop, which is a really pretty little broderie on glaze top with really pretty little straps. It's got a button at back, which now seeing it would look really nice back to front. 
Um, but this is just great to wear with things like dungarees, really cool with high-waisted jeans and like a trench, like little shorts. It just goes with everything and is a really nice fail-safe item. There are so many things like on the high street at the moment. I've had to control myself a lot because my like white shirt collection is getting a bit ridiculous and I'm just like, how often do I even wear these? But I tend to fall in love with one or two and just repeat, repeat wear them. So these are amazing and I love, love this one in particular. So that, I just think it's a great thing to have in your wardrobe really. So this gets a huge thumbs up from me. Next thing is swimwear. Um, I haven't actually been on holiday this year so I've not got to wear anything. But each year I tend to acquire so many different bikinis and things that I never seem to wear again and again because either the pattern is a little bit out there or the shape's not quite right or it's more of a trend item and because I don't go on a holiday that much I'm like why am I buying all of these but this year I've done it again I bought a bikini and I bought a swimming costume but my only excuse is that they are completely timeless and I know I'm going to wear them again and again and again so the pieces that I picked up are from and other stories because their swimwear collection has been amazing um the ones I picked up were this kind of, was this navy bikini, which is all over the place, but it's got double straps, little gold details, but it's so beautiful. Really timeless, really well priced, and the sizing, oops, got my dress coming down. The sizing is really true to size, so I think I got my right, my right size in the bikini, and I upsized in the swimming costume, but even the sizing difference from size to size, the leap wasn't huge, so... I think if you're a bit worried about sizing, go with your actual size, but then you can size up and it's not like a great deal because they didn't actually have my size in the swimming costume, but I was like, I need it. And the swimming costume I picked up is this one. It's got like a little V-neck and a deep V-back with a crisscross detail. Again, it's just really nice because you can wear it with little shorts on the beach, tuck it in, and it just looks like a really cool top. So I like bikinis and swimming costumes that have that versatility that don't look too swimwear like so you can kind of throw it on and not worry about the rest of your outfit so much so I've been really impressed by their selection this year I haven't really done a lot of looking again because I'm not really I don't know if I'm going away but they're just good to have and I know I'm going to wear them again and again which is kind of what a good capsule wardrobe is about it's just about re-wearing restyling and then inserting different bits in season to season so that's very cool so the last item I'm talking about is a bag. Um, obviously it's not necessary to have a bag in your capsule wardrobe every year or every season, but for winter I was using a black Lulu Guinness bag relentlessly. Um, it fitted everything in it, including my camera, an umbrella, like literally everything, books, portable chargers, my portable charger is like this big. It could fit everything in it, but this summer I saved up a little bit and I bought this bag, which is a pink bucket bag from um, Mansfield Gabrielle, I think that's how you say it, um, which I'm obsessed with. Um, it's less about the bag and more about why I got it that I thought I'd mention it because I've always been someone that's kind of like if I'm gonna invest in something it has to be very classic, it has to be very neutral, but I kind of went for pink and I was like am I gonna regret this? But it has been one of my most warm things and I, the reason I love it is because I think if you're not prepared to kind of jump in on all colour or all florals or, or anything for kind of summer, Having a bag with a pop of colour is so nice at kind of brightening up everything about your outfit and kind of pulling it all together, I think. I don't know, but that's just my opinion, but it served me so well. And even if I'm just wearing like a t-shirt and jeans, having a bag like that does make an outfit and it kind of brings it all together. And again, this is a great shape because it fits so much in it. It fits my camera in it, a book. All the things that you really need, a bottle of water, like, there's no messing about with this bag, and I love it so much, but I think, I don't know what other shop I saw something very similar in, I, I think Aspen will do a really similar one, and I can't remember what other brand it is, but I will link them all below, and that is pretty much it for my capsule wardrobe today. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video, um, obviously it's a tiny bit of an update on my previous capsule wardrobe video. Um, obviously, like, the, I'm trying to pick out things that people would have similar items in with their wardrobes. It's not about going out and buying new things, it's kind of about seeing what you have and wearing it together and maybe inserting a couple of pieces that I have worn all the time and things I know will get lots and lots of wear out of. So I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will see you next week and I really hope you enjoyed it. So yeah, see you soon. <laughs>